Hi, I'm back at beautiful Shea Josephine Restaurant on Theatre Row with another edition of Play by Play, our show about shows. I'm joined by my friend and New York One colleague, Frank Delella, and one of the brightest young lights on Broadway, Bobby Steggert, who is co-starring in the new Susan Stroman musical, Big Fish on Broadway. Congratulations. Thank you. It's your year for father and son relationships. You just finished most recently in Giant, which had a very strong dynamic father and son relationship. And now you're playing Will Bloom in this adaptation of the Tim Burton film. Yes. How do they compare? Well, uh, in Giant, uh, the relationship was, was a very uneven one. Um, uh, Brian Darcy James played an almost abusive father, and Jordy Jr., the, the, the role I played, was very downtrodden, very weak. And it was really about him finding strength. Um, uh, Will Bloom and Edward Bloom have a more equal relationship. They're just very different people. Um, Edward Bloom tells crazy tall tales <laughs> and stories, and uh, Will Bloom is very based in reality. And uh, the, the journey for these two men is, is coming to understand one another. Like uh, Giant, Big Fish was based on a book and then a movie. Mm -hmm. What's your relationship with the source material? I never Fish? watch movies okay. mm -hmm. um, because I don't want any uh, visual ideas of a character's um, physicality or, or voice, uh, but books I find a great inspiration because I think if you can read um, off of the page, your imagination is still really free to explore. So Edna Ferber's novel was a great inspiration, as was Daniel Wallace's, um, the novelist who wrote Big Fish. How does your relationship with your own father, can you bring that into relationships? Oh, you have no idea. <laughs> um, people in my family call my dad Big Bob. His name is Bob as well. Um, and he's a, a larger-than-life fella. He really is. Oh. He just lives big. Um, he's a big, hulking guy. He loves parties and, and, and uh, community and celebrations. And I'm a little more serious and a little more bookish. Um, and that relationship is very much um, mirrored in, in Big Fish. And um, I love him dearly. Um, uh, and we also get really frustrated with each other at times. It's, it's, a, it's a very uh, rich relationship. This musical, as the book and, and the film, examines personal myths that we build up around ourselves. Mm -hmm. And obviously your character tries to cut through the myths with your father. Has this caused you to look at why and how we build up our own personal myths? Yeah, I think we all want a legacy. We all want something to leave behind, to be remembered by. Um, and my character doesn't understand that in the beginning. I think he really, he, he, he deals in facts. Um, but uh, what he learns about a person's own mythology is that it, it creates community. It creates um, bonds and, and lasting ones. Are we more susceptible as Americans, do you think, to this? Or to, to I guess, he's, he's from Alabama. So maybe if those tall tales are a southern tradition, have you explored Perhaps, that? Perhaps, but you know, there are a bunch of references in our show to the Greek mythology. I think it's much more universal. Mm -hmm. yeah. Congratulations again. Thank, thank you. you for joining us. You're thank you, Frank. Thank you, and thank you. That's it for this edition of Play by Play. Meanwhile, you can follow me at artinfo.com. Dot com.